Hey everyone, I'm Fantasy Dancer and welcome to a new episode of our Dream Bar. We're on week 13 now and since it's always been my favorite number, we're adding my favorite spirit, Jin. Some of you may think you don't like Jin and I used to say the same thing because my first experience with the, was with a bottle like this of Tanqueray and it's very juniper forward and kind of in your face about the flavor and it's not for everyone. It's definitely not my favorite and if that's all you've tried, it's time to try something else. This is a bottle we'll actually be adding to our bar. This is Beef Eater, and it's a little bit more balanced. It's got some citrus notes in there, a little bit of the juniper. It's a little bit more neutral as far as gins are concerned, and it's not crazy expensive or super cheap. It's kind of right in the middle as well. So this is the bottle we're actually adding to our bar this week. But let's say you do actually like those kind of juniper notes. You could try something like Tanqueray 10. This one is definitely more juniper forward, but it's a little bit smoother in the finish. And you've got some other notes to balance it out, so it's not straight juniper. On the sweeter side of things, you could do something like Plymouth. There's actually some drinks that ask specifically for Plymouth gin, so it's kind of good to have in your cupboard. It is a little bit of the sweeter side, but still got some great herbal notes in there. And if you can find it, this one here is my favorite gin. This is Empress. It's from Victoria, BC, so it's made right here in Canada. And it uses butterfly pea blossoms. So we've got this beautiful indigo color that actually changes when you add tonic or citrus juice to it. Definitely on the sweeter side, but it adds a beautiful hue to your cocktails. But to keep things more balanced, the Beef Feeder does work in the majority of gin cocktails without overpowering the flavors. So this is what we're adding to our bar. So we're going to clear these off and get ready to make our drink. So we're back, and this week we're making a drink called the Grape Ape Bola, although we're shrinking it down a bit. It was a drink that was featured on Guy Fieri's big, uh, sorry, Guy's Big Bite. It was a TV show he did, and it was originally designed to be in a fish bowl. We're going to dress it up a little bit and make it a single serving. So we start, we've got our shaker tin here. We're not actually shaking it because we are using soda in this drink but we get to use all of the bottles in our bar, including our new bottle of Beef Eater, which I put away. There it is. So we're gonna start with just one third of an ounce of light rum. Next up is our gin here. We've got one third of an ounce of this one. One third of an ounce of our vodka as well. And then just a quarter ounce of our triple sec. The recipe does just say an orange liqueur, but triple sec is what's in our bar. So it comes in handy that way. All right, our last couple ingredients. We need an ounce and a half of our grape juice here. Grape juice isn't something we've used a lot in this series so far, but it's a fun flavor to play with when you have it. And our last ingredient is an ounce and a half of our 7-Up, or any other lemon-lime soda. Still can't get over that sound. It just sounds refreshing, you know? All right, so we're gonna add our ice and stir this up. Mm. 
I'm getting better at that, but I'm still not the smoothest at stirring. Okay. Now to strain it into our drink, I've got a Hawthorne strainer here. Really, any strainer will work just to keep the ice out of the glass. Just like that. And to garnish, they use red grapes. So we've got a few kind of olive style. It's on a toothpick there. And now we get to see how it tastes. You get a little bit of a hint of that orange liqueur in there, but overall you don't really taste the alcohol in this. It's kind of like a refreshing, very light grape soda, but minimal carbonization. That's delicious. Not overly sweet. And that is our rendition of the Grape Ape Bola. For this recipe, we used one third of an ounce of vodka, one third of an ounce of light rum, one third of an ounce of gin, a quarter of an ounce of triple sec, one and a half ounces of grape juice, and one and a half ounces of lemon lime soda. I hope you like this video and enjoy the drink. Subscribe to follow along with our dream bar build and please drink responsibly.